Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn what is the key difference between text content property and inner text property. If you know about it, you can simply skip this video. But if you don't know about it, then you should definitely watch this video. Let's create a HTML file here. And a script file. And a style sheet. Let's add some code here link to a style sheet reference to a script which will be script.js now we need an element here it will be div element and it will have a text hello world now we need one button so that we can print this in the console so let's make it click here now let's go to style sheet select div element make the width 100 percent background color will be maroon text alignment will be center let's make padding 10 pixel margin bottom 15 pixel and color should be white save it now let's open this file in the browser great let's open the console lock just clear it now when i will click on this button i want to print the hello world in the console window so here we need to add an event listener so it will be document.query selector We'll select the div element, event listener will be click and we'll call this function on click. We simply need the inner text of the sorry, it should not be div, it should be button by fault. So here we'll make use of query selector and get the inner text of the div element. Now console log it, save it, go to browser, click on this button and we are getting hello world here. Uh, let's put one more element here. So let's make it span element and let's make it this is hidden. Save it, go to browser, click here. So we are getting hello world, this is hidden because this content is visible if I'll make it hidden just by you simply using display none property uh, let's go to style sheet select span element and make it display none so it's no longer visible just save it go to browser you can see it's gone now click on this button and you can see we are getting hello world but we are not getting this uh, text which is this is hidden in case if you want to get this non-visible text you can make use of text content property so if i'll make use of text content here i'll get that text save it click here you can see so this is the key difference between inner text property and text content property when you make use of inner text property you will get only the visible content or you can say only the visible text but in case of text content property you will get visible one as well as non-visible one as you can see we are getting this this is hidden text here despite the fact it is hidden with the help of this display none property i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day